Welcome to Golden Mastermind Seminars Radio with your host, Jeffrey Combs. Good afternoon, Jeffrey Combs. Tuesday afternoon GMS podcast. Welcome to Tuesday afternoon. This podcast originally started out as a conference call in 1999 at 5 o'clock Eastern Standard Time, 2 o'clock Pacific. So this is the culmination of 1999. I started Golden Mastermind Seminars in 1998. I started my live conference call at five o'clock in the afternoon and then moved that conference call to a Tuesday night, more more heart than talent mindset call that I hosted from 2000 until 2018. So that's the lore and the history of how this podcast originally started, originally started off is a live conference call, and I used to have in the hundreds of people dialing into that call on Tuesday nights at 10.30 Eastern Standard Time, and I would interview people like Stephen Simon, the movie producer, who produced the movie What Dreams May Come. He also produced Somewhere in Time with the late Christopher Reeve. Jim Rohn was on that conference call twice. Pat Masidi, the number one inspirational speaker from Australia, who I shared the stage with on three different occasions, was on that call, as was a host of other exceptional, inspirational speakers. Mark Victor Hansen, Dr. Judith Orloff, who wrote many books, many, many exceptional people, Frederick Lehrman, multiple times, who is the author of the highly inspiring course, Prosperity Consciousness. Interesting, Frederick Lehrman was once a mentor to Louise Hay. Louise Hay used to take his workshops on couples. So, I mean, that's just some lore and history of who used to be my guest on my Tuesday night, More Heart Than Talent Mindset call. Josh Shea, you may have listened to those calls back in the day. Matt Smith definitely listened to the More Heart Than Talent Mindset calls. Matt was my client in 2016. Good afternoon, Beth. Good to see you. Looking forward to coaching you. Corey Van Winkle in Washington. Good to see you. Matt, where are you today? Lynette, Pam, good to see all of you here today. Josh Shea. Topic for today's Facebook Live is sobriety consciousness. Now, this will have more than one meaning. The word sober doesn't mean sober from alcohol only. Sobriety means that you're abstaining. You're abstaining from relapsing back into familiar feelings. So if you're addicted to a set of feelings, anger, hate, resentment, guilt, shame, abandonment, rejection, overwhelmed feelings, grief, apathy, and pride. Good afternoon, Kellyanne. So if you're addicted to any of these feelings, you're going to end up in an overwhelmed state called anxiety. And anxiety, fear, and doubt is what will keep you doing the same thing over and over. As you move into sobriety, recovery, and most importantly, consciousness, Consciousness is how you see the situation for what it is. So the prefrontal cortex is the component of the brain that is discernment. And so that discernment meaning, are you able to decide and commit, or do you procrastinate and avoid? And if you've suffered trauma, long-term trauma, you've been married to a narcissist, you grew up with a narcissistic mother, or you grew up in a household that was highly unpredictable. You grew up an adult child of an alcoholic, an adult child of a narcissist, an adult child of a drug addict, or you had parents that were coming and going, you or you were being moved around in different homes, or you had a brother or sister who was a challenge and disrupted the whole family. I have coached people before that their whole childhood was traumatized and destroyed by a brother or a sister or a multitude of situations and or events where you get lost in that family. You lose your identity. You get pushed into a position to being a grown-up. You're pushed into being an adult. If you had a mother who competed with you, who singled you out, traumatized you, or who groomed one child while neglecting you, well, this would lead to emotional addictions. And if you have a better understanding of cause and effect, cause is what you're doing, or effect is what you're doing now, causes the events that shape the feelings. So here is the cover for today's Facebook Live. And then the content for that Facebook Live 
is right here. Here's what you'll discover on this week's training. So I send these out every single week via email. And I write those out in about two minutes and prepare them for today's Facebook Live, the Golden Mastermind podcast. So that what, what you want to be able to unpack. So as you unpack the doubt box, as you unpack the overwhelm box, as you unpack the anxiety and fear suitcase, and then you stop, you stop dragging around the 10-foot grandfather clock that you inherited from your family, and you start to be and stay in relaxed energy so that, you're, so that you begin to see the world in a different perspective, so that there are men and women you can trust. There are business ventures that you can monetize. There are opportunities for you. The world is not a scary place. You can go out there and experience free enterprise. You can go out there. You can go out in the world and be your best self in spite or despite of all of the circumstances that you are witnessing, watching, and or experience in the last three plus years. And we're going to be four years into this situation. I mean, as you understand, 2019 no longer exists. We're in a place called 2023. And remember when we used to have to dine outside, but they would make a shelter, so you're actually dining inside, outside? Now you look at that and I go, what the fuck? What, what was that even about? I'm dining outside in an inside structure outside. I mean, that, that's, that's what you've been through. That's trauma-based mind control. It's, a head, it's been a head swiveling going on for years as you are witnessing it yourself. And as you have a better understanding of the cause that creates the effect, why you do what you do, as you have a better understanding of what they are doing to you, and you have a better understanding of what you can do for yourself in this challenge, these challenging times, situations, and circumstances. And the more that you're able to adapt and adjust, the more you're able to operate in flow, the more prosperity that you can create, the better equipped you are to create results in this challenging situation, the more equipped you are to create commerce, cash flow, money in this time frame so that you're not in jobs that are disempowering or jobs that force you into medical situations or jobs that force you to do situations that aren't conducive. You want to be able to be your best self. So if you're a commissioned sales professional or if you're a 1099 sales professional or if you own a business from the comfort of your home, the results are going to be are not going to be created by procrastinating and avoiding. It's going to come from production, from results, from living the solution, being your best self, being able to focus on what's going to bring you the greatest return on your energy. So the prefrontal cortex is that component of the brain that also is driven by what's called the reticular activating system. So if you're in a constant state of fight or flight, the way you're going to see the world is an anxiety, fear, and doubt. But if you're in a relaxed body, you're able to adapt and adjust to the situation. You're living in a, in a much more higher state of consciousness called truth. And you're in that truth. You understand the truth. And the truth is you're good enough. And as you're in this state of consciousness where you're not intoxicated emotionally. You're not intoxicated from drugs, alcohol, pharmaceutical medication. You're not going through food binges. And you're not emotionally addicted to a set of feelings where you're rescuing, taking care of others. You're not over-obligating, enabling, and you're comfortable enough with yourself to be yourself in a relaxed body where you can create commerce. You can sell in a relaxed body. You can attract in a relaxed body. You can date, mate, marry, and attract people to your reality. You can create a culture, a tribe of people who follow you. My wife says, my husband is crushing it. Thank you. My beautiful wife is Johnny Ena Combs. She, she posted some great video content this morning. If you didn't get to see a chance, if you didn't get a chance to see it, she puts a lot of effort into building her brand. And I know that many of you are doing the same situation. Wojo, good afternoon, my brother. Wojo, I'm very proud of you, which you've created this year. Scott Lucas, good to see you this afternoon. Good to see Kevin Woods. Kevin, I'm honored to be your coach and friend. Good to see so many of you. I will announce that there will be Millionaire Blueprints this year, more than likely two of them. So if you would like to attend and you're a coaching client, we would love to have you. You can find out more details 
about that event. We're looking, my wife and I are looking at May, June, and or July, one of those three months for our first event. And we would love to have you attend in our beautiful city of Stockton, California. So the, the common cause of relapse is on syllabus number one. The reason we relapse is because it's familiar. We relapse because we don't have the separation between our feelings and the events. And we relapse because our lower self, our analytical egoic mind, wants something to take the edge off. Jennifer, good to see you this afternoon. So we relapse because we haven't created enough space in our commitment consciousness that we relapse back into familiar feelings because we haven't figured out a structured way to separate our feelings from the events that shape them. So when we go into fight or flight, we're in anxiety. The mouth opens, the mouth moves, and we talk about how difficult, how hard a situation is. You don't know, I'm unique. My situation is very difficult. My situation is more difficult than anyone else's. The ego creates this trauma bond and stays in this overwhelmed state of consciousness to stay in a chronic relapse state. And then there's the places where you go back to back days, but you're just forcing it. And that forced non-surrendered state of not let go will create a relapse because the bubble will burst. I recently had someone who had a couple of challenging back to deck back days and it created a major food relapse, but it, you could fill in the word, a major drink, a, alcohol relapse, a major, a major spending relapse, a, ma a, a major chronic debting relapse. I mean, a relapse happens because there's not a commitment in place. So there's an interest and there's a worry about the, the commitment. I'm not sure if I can maintain it. I'm not sure. See, the communication already speaking into existence, reality that has not happened to fulfill the feelings. This is why it's important that you learn to stay in the present and understand what that means. You're human. You are going to relapse emotionally, but the objective is to have it last about this long rather than this long, this long, or this long. Then it gets big. So because you're human, you're going to be angry at times. You're going to feel resentful. You're going to feel violated. You're going to feel traumatized. You're going to feel that life isn't fair at times. And you're going to look at the situation and you're going to go, this is crazy. And you're going to be, you're going to say, this doesn't make sense. Why is this happening? Well, it's not happening to you. It's happening. And it's your responsibility to understand that in that outer world, it's your responsibility to find peace and grace in your inner world. And if you have a lot of obligations and duties, multiple children, a, bo a business and a job, a husband, people you're taking care of, or other situations, a part-time business, if you have a lot of duties and obligations, you will not be able to manage the moving parts in an overwhelmed, unorganized state of confusion. You will not be able to operate in an overwhelmed state of feeling out of control. Consiglier Mark Sheeran has, has joined us. Cole, good to see you this afternoon. As I said, Jennifer, good to see you. Consiglier Mark, if you live in New York, I absolutely suggest you look up Mark, S-H-I-R-I-A-N. He's a very good brander, and I've seen some of his results. I coached him for an entire year a couple years ago. So Mark, good to see you this afternoon, Consiglior. And Cole, good to see you this evening. Good to see you, or this afternoon. Good to see all of you this evening. So point number two is trauma bonds and panic patterns. A trauma bond is a, is a, is a, is a, it's a state of, of confusion. It's an, it's leftover residual from traumatic events that then get recreated over and over to fulfill feelings. So if you were traumatized as a child, as a teenager, if you were traumatized by someone in your household or a coach or a significant other, who chronically criticized you, or if you were compared to someone else, if you were physically abused, sexually abused, emotionally abused, and or groomed by a narcissist, it can create trauma bonds where you live in this trauma. Your body is accustomed to trauma. And so you hold on to that trauma and it compounds and it creates a trauma bond panic pattern. And the trauma that you're holding on to is going to create a situation in the hippocampus of your brain. That's the memory. You're either going to spend a lot of time remembering 
or you're not going to remember the events at all. If you don't remember them all, that's denial. If you replay them over and over, that's the ego that wants to be a victim. And in that state of trauma, what happens in your hippocampus, that's your memory, you either spend your time remembering it to obsess on it, or you don't remember it at all and you've repressed it and boxed it up. And then you'll say, I don't have a good memory. And you'll have challenges with events and recall. And you'll have challenges on tests. And it creates performance anxiety because you're so overwhelmed about the future from the past. You either do hold, you do remember or you don't remember. And that creates a trauma bond and a panic pattern. And this is what creates performance anxiety. This is why people have challenges with this term, getting on the phone or they have challenges taking a test. So they'll fail their real estate test, their mortgage test, their series six test, their series seven test. They'll have challenges passing the bar because of their performance anxiety based on unresolved trauma. So this trauma that is held onto also creates a state in the prefrontal cortex where that prefrontal cortex shrinks and you have challenges discerning, deciding, and committing. This is the overwhelmed state that most of the world stays in. So the prefrontal cortex, you want to be able to commit, decide, have a vision of the outcome, clarity, and that state of consciousness comes from knowing. And what drives this is called the amygdala. It's a pea-sized gland that, that when shrunken, it creates, the, it, it, it's the component of the hippocampus, the prefrontal cortex, and the amygdala, so that when that is enlarged, that creates brain fog. And that brain fog means it's hard to remember, it's hard to understand. It's hard to remember, it's hard to understand. I'm always overwhelmed. I have so many kids, so many pets, so many obligations, so many duties. I can't keep up. I can't keep the house clean. I can't get my, I can't bill my clients. I can't, because I can't, I can't, because that's the overwhelmed state that happens from trauma bonds and panic patterns. And then the relationships that you will tend to attract will be at, at the height of dysfunctional. And you will continue to attract dysfunctional situation. You'll hold on to dysfunctional parents, dysfunctional relatives, dysfunctional employers, dysfunctional jobs. And then your personal relationships will foster that same situation. So you barely get by living in an overwhelmed state. You can't overcome this. Not only can you overcome it, but you unequivocally can be sober of all this. It takes a commitment. It takes a committed, com a committed enlightened soul to step into the power of the recovery required to be and stay in sobriety consciousness. Sobriety is the one day at a time method of letting go. The consciousness is the ability to know, understand, discern, and be aware. Without the, yeah, but that's easy for you. Actually, it wasn't so much that it was easy for me because I'm a recovering addict, alcoholic. Sunday was my 34th anniversary of drug alcohol recovery. Codependent recovery became later, but in that state of recovery, it's a one day at a time method of understanding the cause with the effect, practicing the skill of letting go. That's the separation from the feelings and the events that shape them. Those words mean nothing until you understand them. So that until you understand that you're no longer the mind-body connection. The mind-body connection means that as a child, as a teenager, you begin to take on roles. Situations happen to you. And then it becomes, then your, your body runs your brain. And then you also will attract diseases of the body, subluxations in the neck and back, subluxations in the low back, uh, gut issues, stomach issues, other issues of the body that are created by the trauma, the panic patterns, the anxiety, the fear and doubt, the overwhelming, overwhelmed state of consciousness that you live in, and so that you're out of sync, out of rhythm. And so the gut and the other organs in your body are not in alignment. And so this is what detoxing and cleansing and emotional detoxing can do for you. And then the food that you've consumed that has been completely unhealthy that you that you consume to stuff down your feelings, as you begin to look at this whole situation and you begin to let go, letting go is the separation from the feeling. So that instead of being angry and getting angry, you're able to accept your anger, 
look at it for what it is, and begin to breathe and release it. And instead of holding someone else responsible for your feelings, saying, you would think that, you would think that they would see, you would think that something, I mean, you instead of saying you would think, you would understand, you would know, you would be aware, you would be able to separate your feelings from the events that shape them. Because you are no longer the mind-body connection to the events that shape the feelings. So the one day at a time principle, I've covered that. This is what you do one day at a time. You manage your life one day at a time. That's easy for you to say. No, it's not. It's not that it's easy. It's practical. It's simple. And instead of getting way out in the future, you focus on who you can be right here, right now. You focus on what you can organize right here, right now. You focus on what you can accomplish right here, right now. And you're not way out in the future worried about what hasn't happened. You're here and you are now. You are no longer the mind-body connection to the events that shape the feelings. That's Louise Hay content. Louise H-A-Y. You can heal your life. That book was written in the early 80s. That content is still valid. It is absolutely rock solid, filled with gold. I mean, it is absolute game changer book. You Can Heal Your Life. Dr. John Sarno wrote a book called The Mind-Body Prescription in 1996. I read it multiple times. I've studied everything that Stuart Wilde wrote. I listened to Frederick Lehrman's content, Prosperity Consciousness, Napoleon Hill's content, Think and Grow Rich, on audio cassette hundreds of times. I've read thousands of books, attended thousands of 12-step meetings, spoke 1,040 times, flew 2 million miles, teaching what I live, consciousness, sobriety, recovery, free enterprise skills in challenging times, prospecting, selling, branding, writing, articulating, attraction marketing, attraction to your personal reality, attracting a soulmate, and being able to be a relationship coach, a grief counselor, all these situations that I have lived over the last 34 years in free enterprise and 24 years of one-on-one -on -one coaching, speaking 1,040 times, flying 2 million miles, four different continents, 47 states. I mean, that's, that's the compilation of my 24-year coaching, speaking, and published author career with 10 years prior of network marketing direct sales. So that's the last 34 years of my life that I've devoted to teaching myself so that I, myself so I can teach others the principles and disciplines of sobriety, recovery, and especially consciousness. Because consciousness is the web. And when you step into that web, that whole web of consciousness, now you can access the entire planet. And now you can download the content. Now you can understand what's going on behind the veil. And you can understand in sports when the fix is in. And you can predict, you can predict what's happening because you know it. You know it's scripted and you're, in, you're, you're no longer in that matrix. You've stepped out of it. You're over here watching them, watching them be controlled while you are in complete command of your emotional state. It's a very, very liberating experience to be in sobriety consciousness one day at a time in a very relaxed body. Diana, good to see you this afternoon. It was an honor to coach you this morning. This brings me to the end of my call here. I have a unique offer, if you haven't seen it for the last few days. I offered up until five spots are sold. I have a five, I have five uh, offering for five people, and I've sold three of them, so there are two left. But there is a 24-hour coaching package. There is a ticket to Millionaire Blueprint next year. And there is a certified coaching product. The certified coaching is a six-hour coaching certification. It's 24 modules, and it is, a, it is filled with gold. So that is a $2,000 value. Millionaire Blueprint is a $2,000 value. And then the 24-hour coaching is a $5,000 value. So if you'd like to receive that, your existing client, there is a reduced package price for that. You can contact me. There are two available spots left. I started with five, and once those five are gone, so there's two left, that will be ending that promotion. That will end this week. So if you're one of the two that would like to take advantage of that, feel free to send me a Facebook message, and I will get back to you. Josh Waxman, good afternoon. Jennifer, Pamela, 
Good to see all of you. As I said, Diana, good to see you. So if you'd like to find out more about that, that unique marketing proposition, send me a message and I will get back to you. Have a great afternoon, everyone. Jeffrey Combs, President, Founder, Golden Mastermind Seminars Incorporated. Thanks and goodbye.